Welcome to Birchill B Field here in Norton. This is Deb Carrera alongside Jeff Carr on the camera tonight. We got a boys baseball game matchup between Eastern and Norton. Easton, the visiting team tonight, and they're leading things off with number five, Jack, at the plate. Just inside and low. So it looks like we got Eric, number 35, starting off pitching for Norton this evening. He's on the mound, lefty pitcher. Takes another ball, a little bit high. And nice eye at the plate by Jack. Lead off batter, gets a walk. He's gonna bring up number 24, Owen, to the plate. So Norton defense, looking to try to possibly turn two, ball hit into the infield. A little bit high there. Good lead by Jack at first. First baseman, number 24, Zeke is gonna try to keep him close. And that one's popped up. Looks like the pitch is gonna be able to get it. So a little miscommunication there. There was a little collision. That's why communication is real important. Make sure you call it out nice and loud. So that'll go down as a pop-up to the pitcher for the first out of the inning. Next up, number 13, Zane. There's a ground ball left side. That's going to be foul. So quickly, 0-1 count to Zane. That one's a little high. Oh, he chases that one. The runner's going to take off to second, and he'll get a stolen base. So catcher, catcher does a nice job keeping it in front, but Jack steals second. Just outside there. Little low. Looks like we have a full count now to Zane. Norton going to try to keep the runner at second. Get the play at first for the out. That one's fouled off. So new life at the plate for Zane. Still a full count. They got one down. And that one's ripped to left center field. That's going to get through the gap. Jack rounding third, heading home. Zane stretching it to a triple. And he's going to hold up at third. So a stand-up triple for Zane and an RBI right away for Easton. They're on the board. Next up for Easton, number nine, this is Jack. That was a nice solid hit there by Zane right in the gap. A little, uh, takes a strike. So runner in scoring position for Easton on third. 
This is Jack at the plate. A one and one count. Takes the ball a little bit high. That brings us to two and one. Good hitters count. And takes a big cut at that one. That'll bring us to two and two. So nice job by the pitcher there, Eric, getting him to go after that inside pitch. And just outside, so he just missed. Full count now. Needs to protect anywhere close. He'll be swinging. That one's fouled off. Just inside, so that'll be ball four and put runners on the corners for Easton. It'll now bring to the plate number 11, Brennan. I suspect that Jack will be taken off from first. And runner goes. So safely into second. Wise choice not to throw down, especially with the runner on third. As they get a little bit older, they'll have some type of play with runners on the corners to try to get an out there. Just outside. It's tough when you give up that stolen base. Now you got two runners in scoring position. So Norton looking to try to cut this down. And a big cut there and a strike. A little bit in the dirt there. So again, Brennan at the plate. Three and one count. Run is on second and third. This is the top of the first inning. Just outside. That's ball four, so that's going to load things up for Easton. Next at the plate is number 42, Cam. And a big cut there, strike one. So Norton can make the play at any base. Going home will cut the run down. There is only one out. That's a little outside. Ground ball right back to the pitcher, makes the play to first for the out, but not before a run scores. So one to three, but a run will come in for Easton. Next up, number 34, Brady. Lefty in the lineup here. Big cut there, strike one. So infield for Norton looking to make the play at first. They got two down, outfield looking to hit their cutoff. Another big cut, so strike two, quickly 0-2 count.
just inside. Runner at third takes a big lead. Catcher able to keep him right there. Outside again. Two and two count now to Brady. Nice pick up there by the catcher to keep that in front. That'll bring us to a full count. Eric needs to get this one in there. Let his defense do the work behind him. And just inside, so ball four. That'll again load things up for Easton. Looks like we got another Brady coming up. This is number 12, not Tom Brady. Takes ball one. A little bit low there. A uh, nice cut. That'll bring us to two and one. Again, good hitters count. Strike two. So Norton looking to get out of this. Again, Easton with bases loaded. And there's a ground ball and a nice stop by the pitcher. Makes the play to first in time. So nice job keeping it in front for the third out. And after half an inning, Easton 2, Norton 0. We'll be right back. So we're back here at Birchill B Field tonight. Easton versus Norton. Played a half an inning to this point. Easton was able to get two runs on the board. We got Norton coming up to the plate now. It uh, looks like for Easton we got number 34, Brady, on the mound. And leading things off for Norton, number 11, Stevie, is going to start things off. Uh, strike is called there. And a little bit high. Oh, big cut there by Stevie. The two and two count now to the leadoff hitter for Norton. Strike three, so first out, uh, strike out for Brady on the mound. And this will bring up number nine, Evan, to the plate. A little bit low there on the first pitch, so he'll take, he'll take a ball one. So important for the pitches to try to get ahead in the count, if at all possible. Then that gives them the opportunity to kind of mix things up a little. All hitters should be ready for any pitch coming in. They want to get the ball in play.
That'll bring us to a 3-0 and count. A little bit high there, so that'll be a walk for Evan. And it'll bring John to the plate, number eight. So again, if you're just tuning in, Easton was able to capitalize and get two runs in the top of the first. We now have a runner on first for Norton, and he's taking off, going to second. And he is going to be out, so a nice throw to the shortstop, covering second base on the steal. So that'll go down as a 2-6 to six and cuts down the stolen base. That's the second out of the inning. Just inside there, so a little brush back pitch. Nice pitch there right down the pipe. So Easton looking to get out of this. They got two outs, nobody on, so plays at first. A little bit high there. And that'll be ball four, so John will head down to first base. Next up, number 30, Riley at the plate. Good lead over at first. We're going to keep him tight. That one's in the dirt, gonna get by the catcher. Runner's gonna take off, and John will be safe into second base. And nice cut there. Brady looking to close things out here for Easton. Norton got a run around second base in scoring position. Just a little out of the zone there. And nice job by the catcher. Throwing down to third. Make sure that runner stays at second base. We've got a two and two count now to Riley at the plate. Just inside, that'll bring us to a full count. And just out of the zone there, so that'll be ball four. Put another runner down at first. So Brady just missing the strike zone. This will now bring up number 35, Eric, to the plate for Norton. And that one goes beyond the catcher. Both runners will advance.
Just out of the zone again. So 2-0 and count now to Eric at the plate. Got two runners in scoring position here for Norton. There are two outs. So the play for them will be at first. And ball four, runner's going to take a big lead at third. There's going to be a rundown, and he's going to be able to get into home safely. So on that play, catcher probably should have ran him back a little bit. Pitcher could have covered home. You want to try not to throw behind the runner and give them the opportunity to get a run. So sometimes that's tough. That's just coverage. If the catcher had run him back a little bit, pitcher could have covered home and at least get him to go back to the previous base, but Easton able to, uh, excuse me, Norton able to get a run there. We now have number 24, Zeke, at the plate. A little bit low there. Uh, there's a nice pitch and a nice cut at the plate by Zeke. That one gets beyond the catcher, and he's firing it down to third. Not in time, able to slide in safely. Catcher's got a nice arm back there behind the plate. Got to the ball quickly. I believe that's Owen back there behind the plate for Easton. And a big cut, that's strike three for the third out of the inning. So after one complete, Easton two, Norton one. We'll be right back. So we're back now at Birch Hill B Field tonight. Easton versus Norton. After one, Easton sitting on a two to one lead. And up at the plate now, number 56, Cam to lead things off. Takes ball one a little bit outside. A little chilly here this evening. Takes ball two, so a nice eye at the plate by Cam. A strike is called on the inside corner. That'll bring us to a two and one count. Big cut there, two and two. Nice pitch there by Eric to get him to swing. That one's a little out of the zone. Strike three. So first out of the inning, a strikeout. Next up, number 99, Chase, coming to the plate. That one's a little high for ball one. So as a hitter, you want to jump on the first good pitch. A strike is called there on the outside corner, so one and one. A 
little high. Two and one count. Norton Field is going to make the play to first base because there's nobody on. A uh, big cut there and a strike. Uh, check swing there. That's going to be foul down the first base side. Down and in. Good eye at the plate there by Chase. Uh, great pitch there on the outside corner. So Chase goes down looking, and that'll be a strikeout in the second out of the inning. Next up is number eight, Nicholas. That was a nice pitch there by Eric on the outside corner. A little high there. Uh, strike on the outside corner. So Eric does a nice job painting the outside corner of the plate on that one. Uh, check swing there, and that's going to be a strike. So wasn't able to hold back. So Nicholas with two strikes on him, two outs. Out of the zone there, and that'll be ball four. So he will head down to first. Base runner for Easton on first, and this will bring us back to the top of the order. Number five, Jake at the plate. And that gets away from the catcher. Throw down to the second, not in time. So Nicholas able to get a stolen base, slides into second safely. Nice cut there. Nice job by the catcher to keep that one in front. Uh, check swing and it did go through, so that will be a strike. So again, Norton looking to get out of this. They got two outs, plays at first. Nicholas with a big lead at second, but decides to stay. Just outside, that'll be a walk. And that'll set Easton up with runners on first and second with two outs. Next up at the plate is Owen. Owen's first at bat, he popped out to the pitcher. Nice 
Nice job by Eric getting ahead in the count, 0-1. Oh so if the ball gets through the infield, outfield better be hitting their cutoff because I'm sure the runner on second is going to try to stretch it to get home. That one's fouled off and behind the backstop. Infield has some options. They can go to the closest base. They got two down. Inside there. So a two and two count now to Owen at the plate. A little high. That'll bring us to a full count. Norton Field is trying to cheer their pitcher on Eric to try to get him out of this inning. And that is ball four. So the runners will advance. That'll load things up. This will bring up Zane to the plate. Zane had a nice triple his first at bat in the gap. So outfield is ought to be ready now. Coach for Norton going out to talk things over with their fielders. He knows what Zane was able to do last at bat, so they want to cut things down here. Two outs. Infield can make a play at any base. Outfield again needs to hop on it and get it into their cutoff if that ball is able to get through the infield. Just outside, ball one. There's a strike. And there's a rip down the left field line. That's going to be foul. So a nice rip there by Zane all the way down left field line, just foul. Outfield needs to be on their toes. They might want to shift a little bit that way. And there's a shot out to center field. Over his head, one run's gonna score. Two runs coming in. And here goes number 24, headed to the plate. Three runs are gonna score. And he will get all the way to third. So that goes down as a double, and he's able to take third on the throw. Three runs score there. So another good hit by Zane. We'll take a little brief recess. We've got a new pitcher coming in. We'll be right back. So now up to bat. We got number nine, Jack, and on the mound, oh, that one's gonna drop, so run's gonna score. Jack takes a big turn, so a nice RBI by Jack at the plate. Next up, number 11, Brennan. Jack with a big lead at first, heads back. Ground ball to third, picks it up, makes the play to first. 
in time. So that'll be the third out, but not before Easton able to pick up a few runs. So after one and a half, Easton six, Norton one, we'll be right back. So we are back here. This is the bottom of the second inning. Norton at the plate number two, Sam, going to lead things off. Easton sitting on a six to one lead here. Nice stop there by the catcher behind the plate. So Brady, number 34, still on the mound for Easton. So we have a 2-0 and count now to Sam at the plate. That one's fouled off, so two and one. Inside corner, strike two. Again, a nice stop by the catcher, but that'll be ball four, and Sam will head down to first. It'll bring up number 10, Carson, to the plate. Brush back, brush back pitch there, that was up high and in tight. Easton looking to cut down the lead runner at first. They got nobody out. That one's a little high, out of the zone. Takes a strike right down the middle of the plate. And that's gonna be out of the zone for a walk. So that'll put Norton in good position with runners on first and second with nobody out. It'll bring number 33, Colin, to the plate. Coach is going to go over and talk some things over with him. So Easton will probably look to try to cut down the lead runner. They got a force at third. There's nobody out. Colin, number 33 at the plate for Norton. Takes ball one. And that's a little bit high. So two balls on the batter. Is a strike. Two and one count now, good hitters count. Again, Easton looking to cut down the lead runner if possible.
Strike two. So Colin needs to protect now two strikes. Just outside there. Good chaser pitch, but Colin did not go after that one. Count is full now, three and two. Runners will be taking a good lead. Just out of the zone. That's going to load things up now for Norton. This will bring up number three, Sergio. Outside for ball one. There's a strike. Nice pitch there. One and one count. And there's a good cut. So bases loaded here for Norton. Sergio gonna go after anything close. Try to get the ball in play, bring some runs in. And that one's a little high. That'll bring us to a full count. There's a strike. So that'll be the first out of the inning on a strikeout. Nice pitch there by Brady. Next up is Jagger. So Easton with one out in the field. They can try to cut things down by getting the force at home if possible. There's a strike to Jagger on the first pitch. Just outside. Again, nice job by the catcher by keeping that in front, trying to frame it, but a little bit outside. And gets him to chase that one, so two strikes. Strike three. Brady does a nice job there and has two strikeouts back to back. This will bring up number one, Jackson, to the plate. So Jackson looking to try to get the ball in play. Got bases loaded. There's two outs. Easton looking to shut him down here. Chases that one for strike one. Strike two. Nice pitch on the inside corner there. Out of the zone, runners will stay. So 
So again, Easton can go to any base. They got two down. Nice stop there again by the catcher. That's Owen behind the plate tonight. And the run is coming. He's going to go back. All right, that's a nice job getting him to go back. Sometimes you don't have to make that throw. Just get them to go back to the previous base. You don't want to throw it away. You don't want to throw behind the runner so they can score. So I think Owen learned from last time, just run him back. Just outside again, and that'll be ball four. So a run will score. Next up for Norton, this is the bottom of the order, number 12, Logan. A strike is called inside corner. There's another strike. So nice job by Brady on the mound. Looking to get out of this inning. There's another strike on the outside corner. That one gets away, and here comes the runner to home. And he's going to get in safely. So good base run in there for another run to come in. That was Carson that was able to come in. Brady needs to bear down here. He's got two strikes. They want to get out of this inning. Norton's got runners on second and third. There are two outs. Umpire clearing the plate off. And now calling balls and strikes from behind the pitcher. So he needs to see the plate. That's going to be ball four. Load things up again for Norton. This will bring us back to the top of the order. Stevie at the plate. Little high there. So defensively now for Easton, they can step on any bag, two outs. All the runners will stay there, gets by the catcher, but able to pick it up quickly. And that is ball four, so run will score. Uh, looks like we're going to have a pitch and change here. We'll be right back.
So we're back now. Uh, Easton's got a new pitcher on the mound. That's number nine, Jack, that's pitching for them. At the plate for Norton, number nine, Evan. So Easton does have two outs. Norton's got bases loaded here. That one's fouled off. So Jack trying to come in and help Easton out, trying to get out of this inning. And there's a ground ball to second. That's going to get through. One run's going to score. Outfield's going to get it in, thrown to the plate. So able to cut that one down. One run scores. And Nicholas for Easton able to get the ball in quickly to keep it at only one run to come in. Now at the plate for Norton, number eight, John. That one's going to get by the catcher. Nice pitch for a strike there. Little outside. A little high in the zone. So Jack trying to find the groove, full count. Bases loaded, two outs. Strike three, so able to get out of the inning. And to this point, we got Easton six, Norton five. We'll be right back. So we're back now with Easton at the plate, up by one. This is number 42, Cam, to lead things off. Cam grounded out to the pitcher, his first at bat. Takes a ball there a little bit high. So this is John, number eight, pitching now for Norton. A little bit outside. And gets him to chase that one, so a strike there to Cam. And gonna hustle down to first on that one. This will bring up number 34, Brady. Brady's the pitcher for Easton tonight. Or at least he started it off. He had to walk his first at bat.
John does a nice job there going after him from the first pitch. Gets a strike. Norton looking to turn two in the infield. Just inside, but that is called a strike. So inside corner. That one's popped up to the left side. Third baseman hustles over, but that one's going to be foul. So a nice try there by a third baseman. That is a foul ball. That one's fouled off back to the backstop. So a good aggressive swing there by Brady at the plate. New life. Just outside there, so just missed. John trying to get him to chase that one on the outside corner. Brady holds up. There's a ground ball down. Pitcher able to field it, throw to first, and called out at first base, so one to three for the out. That was a close one. Brady with good hustle down the base path, but John able to make the play over to first base to Zeke for the out. Next one up, number 12, Brady. Outside, ball one. That one's fouled off and behind the backstop, so out of play, dead ball. So infield can make the play at first. Outfield probably going to shoot to their cutoff. Runner on second in scoring position. There's a ground ball to third. Holds the runner. Makes the play to first. Not in time. Runner's going to advance over to third on the pass ball. And he's heading home. So run will score. And ball thrown around a little bit that Brady going to get all the way over to third on that one. Run scores for Easton. Next up now, number 56, this is Cam. A little low and outside. Nice pitch there, tried to frame it, but a little bit outside. Nice job of the catcher back there trying to frame it and steal the strike away for the umpire, but he called it a little bit outside. Is a strike called? Sometimes you just come back with the same pitch and you might get the call. Inside there. So Cam will head down to first base. And next up for Easton, number 99, Chase coming to the plate.
That's going to put runners on the corners for Easton. So I suspect that Cam will probably try to steal second. Let's see if Norton has some type of defensive play or if they're going to let him take the base. And there he goes. So they let him take second. Stolen base for Cam. There's a strike called. Another strike there. So two strikes to chase at the plate. There's one out. Runners on second and third. Strike three called. That's the second out of the inning. This will bring up the bottom of the order, number eight, Nicholas, to the plate. Norton looking to try to get out of this with no more damage. Easton was able to score one run at the beginning of this inning. Strike call. Strike three is called. So John able to make things happen for Norton, get him out of the inning. And to this point, we got Easton seven, Norton five. We'll be right back. We're back now with Norton at the plate. Easton with a seven to five lead. Looks like we got number 30 leading things off. Bottom of the third. This is Jack now pitching for Easton and gets him to swing at that one. Nice pitch there and that's strike three for the first out of the inning. Next up, number 35, Eric coming to the plate. A strike on the outside corner. Jack doing a nice job for Easton on the mound. Strike two. So again, nice job getting ahead in the count. Gives you some options. Try to get the hitter to chase one. And he fouls that one off. So Eric fouls that one off his foot. He will head back down to the batter's box and get a new life. Again, the umpire is going to clear off the plate. Sometimes it's a little difficult to try to call balls and strikes from behind the pitcher. Two strikes now on Eric. That one's a little high.
just inside. That one's fouled off. So new life at the plate. Eric staying alive in there. Just missed. So nobody on base. There's one down. Ground ball to first. That's going to go off the glove of the first baseman. And he's going to be able to get down there safely. Next up for Norton, number 24, Zeke. Ground ball to second, makes the play, and double play up. Looks like he did drop it at first. So I originally called him out, and I think bobbled it over at first base. So Easton with a nice attempt there on a double play. Ball bobbled at first, but they did get the lead runner. So that'll be two outs. It'll bring up Sam to the plate. That one's going to get by, and Zeke will head over to second. Zeke takes a big lead, but then retreats back to second. Again, Owen, the catcher for Easton, hustles on that one. Keep the runner at second base. A little high there. There's a ball, and he will head down to first, so Sam gets a walk. Next up, number 10, Carson. Ball is called just outside. Runners are going to take off. So both runners will be able to advance. Norton now has runners on second and third. There are two outs. Carson at the plate. There's a line drive down first base side. One run's going to score. Outfielder gets it into the cutoff. There's going to be a play at the plate. Looks like he's going to call him safe at the plate.
We'll take a brief little recess here while they figure things out. So a little controversy there at the end of that inning with a play at the plate. Uncertain at first, but I guess he was called out. Could have been an interference call, or he might have just been able to make the tag. One run was able to score, and then the second run at the plate was called out. So we'll be right back with Easton coming up in just a moment. So we are back now. This is the top of the fourth. Getting a little bit dark now, but we got leadoff batter for Easton, number five, Jack, to lead things off. Easton sitting on a one-run lead, seven to six at this point. Jack chases that one, fouls it off. Strike two is called in the outside corner. Strike three is called, so first out of the inning, a strikeout. Next up, number 24, the catcher, Owen. A little low and outside for ball one. There's a ground ball, left side of the field, third baseman able to make a play, but unable to get it across the field, just gets it back to the pitch, a nice backhander over there at third. So that'll go down as a single for Owen. Next up, number 13, Zane coming to the plate. Outfielders better give him some room. He's got a double and a triple on the day. There's a strike there. So Easton with a runner on first. We got one out, Zane at the plate. Good hitter up at bat. Ducks out of that one for a ball. Ground ball, the third. That's going to be foul. So just outside of third base, foul ball. There's another shot down third baseline. That's going to get by the third baseman to the left fielder. Runner's going to get all the way into third. So runner's now on second and third for Easton. Another good hit there by Zane. Hit the ball hard on the left side. This will now bring up number nine, Jack, to the plate.
That one's fouled off behind the backstop. Little high and out of the zone. Big lead over at third base, but they're able to hold him there. Chases that one for a strike. Looks like that'll be the second out of the inning. So a strikeout to Jack. Next up will be number 11, Brennan. Takes ball one high. Ground ball to third. That's going to be foul just on the other side of the bag. Strike two is called. So there are two outs in the field. Runners on second and third. Strike three is called. So third out of the inning. Easton sitting on a one-run lead. Norton to be coming up to bat. We'll be right back. So we're back now with Norton at the plate, number 33, Colin, to lead things off. That one's fouled off and out of play on the left side. Norton down by one, getting dark here. This will probably be the last chance for them to either tie it up or go ahead. Now on the mound, pitching for Easton, number 24, Owen. Owen's been the catcher up until this point. Uh, strike is called there. Strike three is called. So Owen able to go after the first pitch, uh, first batter and strike him out. Next up, number three, Sergio to the plate. A little bit low and outside. A nice pitch there for a strike. So Owen looking to come in and get on the mound and shut things down. Just inside there. Second strike now to the batter. So Sergio looking to go after anything close. <laughs> and Sergio's gonna walk.
Actually, that might have been Jagger that was up at the plate number 10. A little collision there. We'll be right back. And at the plate now, number one. That one's fouled off. Out of play. Just outside. And runner's going to take off. Well, safely into second base. Strike three, and the runner takes off to third in safely. So nice heads up base run and moves over to third. Two and two count now to Jackson. Ground ball to first, picks it up, steps on the bag, makes the play, and that'll be it. Third out of the inning. So nice close game here tonight. Easton able to pull it off with a 7-6 to six win. You can catch this game and all the games on NortonMediaCenter.org. This is Deb Carrero. Thanks for joining us.